Welcome guys, and I'm here with some game dev story today. Uh, this will be a game review. If you want more, I'll make it a series. Didn't mean to turn down that. Anyway, so, um, I'm just gonna go through the tutorial to show you guys what we're doing. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company, right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Before you can start your venture, you have to give your upcoming company a name. So we're going to do gaming MMO. We're just going to leave the character at that because the customization sucks. See, that's the customization. And I have brown hair. So we'll just go like that. We're not going to use hints because if you ever want to review the tutorial message, then you can do so in the help menu. To access a help menu and other features such as saving, loading, and creating game menu, simply press escape to access the main menu. Congratulations, you just started your very own game development company. At this moment, your office is in the garage and you are the only employee, but don't worry, many successful businesses have started this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. So we're going to click anywhere, develop new game. B before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limi limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Um, I'll also leave a link to this game below. I think it's $10 on Steam. I've looked at it in a while. So, what are our topics? We're gonna do a ninja action and star throwing. That's a good thing. Uh, this is the one that's up the most. We're gonna put in 2D graphics because we don't want it text based. So here, a little guy will start the development, and here are the scores up there. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for a game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on your areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Okay, so we want the story and quests are a little bit important, um, important not important in this game we want the gameplay to be up and we need some good engine too I think that's good game development has now started while developing a game you'll generate points which you can see bubbling up game points are divided into design points technology points um oh I thought there was more the more points you generate the better the game will be from time to time there will also be bug points generated These points become less likely once you gain experiment experience. And sorry I paused there, someone came in. Um, bug should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. So, I'll show you what that means. See, here we have a bug. And when the game is done. Okay. We want that. We want level design and... Uh, Put level design down to look. I mean, it doesn't have to look that pretty. There. And you can run out of um, money and go bankrupt. During development, you can also select additional features for a game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. You'll also see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. This this is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics in mid-game. 
We'll get basic sounds. The graphics will be good. World design will be like that. Sounds will be... We'll leave them in the middle. They're not that important. So. Research points are what's used to research new things, by the way. I don't know if it said that yet. The development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Racing game without fixing bugs can severely affect your rating, so you could, so you should only consider that you need the cash and you can't afford to wait. So, as you can see, he took out all the bugs. So now we're going to hit. He just brought up another bug. Now we're gonna hit finish. Finish it up. Um, the development of your game has now finished. While developing games, you gain experience. Exper experience and improve your skills. When development is complete, you will pres be presented with a summary of the experience game. So, I'm not gonna let it go through all this, I'll just skip it all. But there you go. Release game. Your game is now completed and will be handed off to publishing. We should see the reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. I hope our game did good. The first reviews for our newly game, newly released game, Star Throwing, came in. Now that I think of it, I should have named it Throwing Star. But, oh well. Seven. Wow, it's not that bad. I don't know. Five. Six. Six. So they weren't that bad. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to an analysis your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. To generate a game report, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Gaming MMO, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Star Throne. The game received fa favorable reviews. With such a good start, gaming MMO are sure to gain fans quickly. Oh, we've already sold nearly. We sold 4.1k in the first month. Star Throwing sold 4,075 units in its first week on the market. But we made it in the charts at number 63. Now that your game is on sale, you will, you will receive income every week from, from the game every week. You can see how yeah, well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph on the top on the right top of the screen, right there. Star throwing was so successful that we now have 31 fans. Your fans are right there. And so, game history. Here it is. Um, research. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You you should try to save up. Save enough research points right there to be able to create your own game engine. This will help le this will greatly improve your games. And try to develop games with different topic and genre combinations for slight research boost. We'll do this. What should we get? Well, we're gonna get life so we can do a life in sim simulation. So there we go. We'll start developing it. Star Throwing has achieved a company sales record with over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of gaming MMO. We made some money off that game. You have successfully researched a new topic life. So now we can go to, to vanilla U game. Life and simulation. We're gonna do... Hmm. I don't know what this game should be called. You know what? We're gonna go with a dog's life. And we're going to put it on that. It will have 2D graphics. We want the gameplay to be up story and quest on not important. We'll do a little bit of them. We want the. That's probably good because we need a good engine too.
we want the artificial intelligence to be up. Dialogues can go down and level design up. Uh, we definitely need sounds. I feel like that's what helps the game become more live. I actually think this setup's a little good. Let's just take down world design and boom. Star throwing is now off the market. It sold $14,815 units, generating $103,730 in sales. Let's just wait for it to work out the bugs. And finish. You know what? We're gonna rename it Life of a Dog. I like that better. Recent market in studies suggest that the Gorbador G64 is studying selling competitors competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over home computers. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. The first reviews for our new newly released game, Life of a Dog, came in. Hopefully they're good. Seven. Enjoyable. Six. Oh no, five. So about the same as last time, I'm pretty sure we got two sixes, which is still some good sales. Um, I think I'm going to end this game review here, guys. Um, stay tuned for more videos. I do have a new schedule coming up. It will start this coming Sunday, which is almost a week away. I will not be posting videos on July 19th, because that is my birthday. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys again later. Bye.